Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Landgang Brewery's Helle Offragoon. That means what? Bright excitement. Oh, well the can is certainly bright and exciting at the same time, so. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So this brewery is formed by a um, shop owner. A, like a geez, beer, that went crazy. A beer store owner and his buddy that had, uh, I guess at some point had recently gotten his brewer's license and so they decided to open up a brewery together. Mm, that's pretty convenient right there. Um, one pint, 5%. Uh, Water, barley, malt, hops. A lot of this is in German. That's it, really. And this picture of a girl who is just in love with her beer, her Afrigang beer. It almost looks like, um, what do you call that? Like a, like propaganda. Yeah. Like a propaganda poster almost. It does. For some reason, it reminds me of like World War II propaganda. Yeah, that's exactly when it. When they were advertising to women. I like their logo though. It's an upside down hop uh, yeah. flower. That's pretty cool. I pretty like that. Cool. Yeah, they spent some time and money in that. I like the can. I think it's pretty neat. Yeah. So far, good presentation. Yeah. And honestly, as a Hellas, that's what you want to see right there. Nice head. Mm -hmm. Very white. Good lacing. Look at that. Looking Creamy head, good. Dense. I mean, that's pretty much everything you'd want to see right there. So far, this may I'm be impressed. Good. This may be good. <laughs> may be good. Hellas lagers are traditionally a great beer to start out with because they're very cheap to make. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of malt and not much else. They're very cheap. They're easily sourced ingredients. Um, you can make a really, really good tasting beer with just a couple ingredients. That's why home brewers do like one malt, one hop, you know, mm. brews, because it's very tasty. It's simple is better sometimes, and I'm a big fan of the Hellas Lagers because, man, can they be good. Like Russell's Hellas was ugh, so good. <laughs> that was such a good beer. Shout out to you, Russell, you're the man, you know who you are. So anyways, let's take a nose on this one and see kind of what, what aromas we get out of it. Well, I can say that I definitely smell that green apple thing again. Hmm. Slightly, slightly. This but one's not as bad as the other not one. Not as bad as the other yeah. one, no way. However, it does have this big note of hay, mm -hmm. like really aggressive hay. That, that barley is really kicking. Um, yeah, not getting a lot of hoppiness or anything like that. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of hay, a lot of like graininess. A lot of biscuity action happening there. A little bit sweeter smelling too than I mm -hmm. thought it would be. Take a dive and see what happens. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's that's good. Damn, okay. That's clean. It's really clean. Wow. It's really well balanced. You do get a little bit of that green apple twinge, but it's just ever so slight. It's just the amount that I would expect it to be in this. That's the best one yet. Yeah, my opinion, that's the best that's beer perfect. we've had. I knew it was gonna be good. Just yeah. cause like they invested time in the can art and it looks really cool. Although that could totally fail too. But something about this True. beer was like, I think it's gonna be good. I think that these guys are like the 21st century brewery that are really putting effort into it. Um, just, I mean, just judging by the can art alone and judging by the story and everything. I don't know anything about these guys at all. But I mean, look at this can and tell me that this doesn't look like an Americanized craft beer right mm -hmm. there, you know what I mean? And usually you're gonna get something pretty decent. This is a beer I could see drinking all the time if I live close to this brewery. Yeah, I would definitely be drinking this all the time. It's a little bit more Americanized, I feel like. It's a little bit less German, Germanic and a little slightly leaning towards that American sort of profile. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's like, it's more leaning towards the American craft beer scene. It is. I think they're taking taking note of what we're doing over here and then impl uh, implementing that into their, their beers over there. Now I just wanna try more of their beers. Yes, please do. If you can send us some more beers, we'll gladly put these on the channel. This is a fantastic offering. Um, love me a Hellas Lager. Uh, this is a great example. 
really, really good. This is up there with the best of them that I've tried over here. So that's saying something. That is. Good job. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.